With the increase in popularity of e-bikes, e-scooters, and e-vehicles, firefighters are warning the public to be vigilant when purchasing and charging these devices. Now to CFDK's Jaylene Matthews with more. There can be a lot of benefits to hopping on the e-vehicle trend. Bike riders get a boost, scooters help many get around, and e-vehicles provide an alternative to gas engines. But firefighters say to be careful when using these devices. The biggest thing nowadays is with those lithium ions, it's charging them. Is we're charging them inside our homes. Once they're overheating, the acid inside the batteries, that's where those uh, explosions and those fires are happening. So all we're asking people is if you are buying these e-bikes and the little scooters, uh, the little hoverboards, is charge them into a safe area. Have them out on a concrete floor in a safe area that if they do catch fire that you'll be able to either remove it from the area or nothing combustible is around them. We've only had one uh, so far in the last couple of years and it was an e-bike. They were charging it right up against the side of the house and then unfortunately it did catch the house on fire as well. I think it was either charging too long or a fault somewhere within the charger. It definitely started because you can see where the uh, incinerator of the charger and the cord itself was completely gone at that time. So we suspected that that's what it was. Captain Doss says it's important to consider where you're investing. You want to do all your background check on everything, right? So if you are buying something that's an off-market, off-brand name, you know, you are putting yourself a little more at risk with those products. Proper disposal is also key to avoiding fires. Disposing of batteries, you want to do your research on that as well. Let's recycle them, uh, whether it's ABC battery recycle, you want to contact those proper people to recycle those batteries. Don't just be throwing them in the garbage. They end up in the landfill, and then again, if there's a problem with it there, that's where the fires will happen as well. For CFTK News in Terrace, I'm Jaylene Matthews.